हाय आई एम गुरुदेव सिंह राणा असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर कंप्यूटर आईटी उत्तराखंड ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हल्द्वानी डिस्ट्रिक्ट नैनीताल सो लर्नर इन दिस लेक्चर यू लर्न अबाउट जावा सर्वर पेज हाउ टू कनेक्ट जावा सर्वर पेज विथ डेटाबेस यूजिंग जे डी वी सी यू आल्सो लर्न अबाउट बेसिक स्टेप्स टू कनेक्ट डेटाबेस लर्नर इन लास्ट लेक्चर यू लर्न अबाउट सेशन ट्रैकिंग कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेशन एंड वाई वी नीड टू यूज सेशन और पर्पज ऑफ सेशन यू लर्न अबाउट सेशन ट्रैकिंग टेक्निक्स यू आल्सो लर्न अबाउट हाउ एंड विच नार यू वी यूज दीज टेक्निक्स सो लर्नर इन दिस लाइट आई विल गिव ओवर व्यू ऑफ जी एस पी सो जी एस पी सर्वर साइड टेक्नोलॉजी दैट वी यूज टू डेवलप वेब पेज दैट सपोर्ट डायनामिक कंटेंट एंड आई एम वेरी श्योर दैट यू नो अबाउट स्टेटिक एंड डायनामिक कंटेंट सो इन जी एस पी वी कैन इंसर्ट जावा कोड इन एस टी एम एल पेज वी कैन से वी कैन डू सर्वर साइट एंड क्लाइंट साइट प्रोग्रामिंग इन सिंगल पेज नॉर्मली वी यूज एस टी एम एल एज व्यू और फ्रंट एंड एंड जावा फाइल फॉर सर्वर साइट कोडिंग और वी कैन से बिजनेस लॉजिक्स बट इन जी एस पी वी कैन इंसर्ट सर्वर साइट कोड इन एस टी एम एल वी यूज स्पेशल जी एस पी टैक्स टू इंसर्ट जावा कोड इन एस टी एम एल मोस्ट ऑफ दीज स्टार्ट विद एंगल ब्रैकेट परसेंटाइल एंड एंड विद परसेंटाइल एंड क्लोजिंग एंगल ब्रैकेट Java server page is component is a type of Java servlet that is designed to fulfill the role of user interface for a Java web applications developers write gsps as text file that combine html xml element and embedded gsp actions and commands in this slide i will give overview of jdbc firstly we need to understand what is jdbc jdbc stands for java database connectivity which is a standard java api for database independent connectivity between the java programming language and a wide range of databases it may be mysql sql server oracle and many more fundamentally jdbc is a specification that provide a complete set of interfaces that allows for portable access to an underlying database jdbc architecture here is figure in this figure we can see architecture of jdbc i will explain jdbc architecture here the jdbc api support both two tier and three tier processing model for database access but in general jdbc architecture consist of two layers jdbc api what is jdbc api this provides the connection between application and jdbc manager and second one is jdbc driver api this provide the connect connection between jdbc manager and jdbc drivers now here I'll, i will explain jdbc api in detail the jdbc api use a driver manager and database specific drivers to provide transparent connectivity to heterogeneous databases the java database connectivity jdbc API provide universal data access from the Java programming language using the JDBC API you can access virtually any data source from relational database to spreadsheet and flat files JDBC technology also provides a common base on which tools and alternate inter interfaces can be built the jdbc 
driver manager ensure that the correct driver is used to access each data source the driver manager is capable of supporting multiple concurrent drivers connected to multiple heterogeneous database now i will explain gsp database access how we access database in gsp we are using database for storing huge type of data we can easily connect with database to create and manage records gsp has number of actions for database access to improve the simple database driven jp applications these actions provide some features first one is they also support sql queries like insert update delete and uh, uh, update in database these action provides better performance and scalability by using these actions we can handle most common data convergence we can also use multiple database in this slide we learn about how to connect database we learn about steps to connect database to connect gsp with database first we need to load the driver or register it before using in program registration is done once in program we have two ways to register the driver in first way we need to load the driver class into memory at run time here driver class is static class so there is no need to create any object we directly load the class into memory now we use for name static method to register in second way we use driver manager class to register driver manager class is a inbuilt class in jdbc in this case we create the object of driver class at compile time after loading the registration of driver we need to establish the database connection to communicate with database we need to open jdbc connection first after loading the driver we use driver manager class and call get connection method to connect database get connection method is a static method syntax of this method is as below public static and connection is return type and get connection and we are passing url as string here url is database url and as uh, i mentioned before return type is connections so it will return the connections maybe it may be multiple connections there are some more overloading methods we can use to connect database now one one method is public static connection get connection and in parameter we are passing url as string and property as prop so here url is database and in this case we are providing an extra parameter prop prop is type of property so property are implementations defined as to which value will take precedence for maximum portability an application should only specify and property once a property once this parameter is a list of arbitrary string in key value peers as connection arguments now this is third method this is also overloading method public static connection get connection here string as url string username and string password in this case we pass username and password as parameter it is more secure and we are uh, and we connect database with a specific user here a string url in the uh, in this case mysql localhost 3306 and mydb mydb here database user is username password is password and connection uh, connection is variable of connections once you establish the connection you can interact with database you can create statements now 
you can use create statement method of connection interface object of statement is used to execute queries with the database so this is syntax for create statement public statement and create statement after creating the statements it is time to process the result by executing the query to execute query we use execute query method of statement interface it returns result set after that you can get all the record from table or from multiple tables here public result set execute query and we pass sql as a string in the parameter once we establish the connection we can interact with the database and after the end of your program it is required explicitly to close all the connections to the database to end the each database sessions in jdbc however there are java java's garbage collector which automatically close all the open connections that are not in use relying on garbage collector in database programming is not a good practice so after end of every database connection you should close the connection to close the connection there is close method in jdbc close method is associated with connection object so syntax is here connection dot close to ensure that connection is closed you can use finally block in your code in java finally block always run even there is any exception in the code explicitly closing a connection conver uh, conserves dbms resources and maintain the performance of database you will never face delay and timeout exception due to this now here is complete program to connect database and how to register and how we get results set and how we get records from the database so this is first case where we are loading the register uh, where we are load and register the driver so here is the program public static white main and uh, we are creating variable connection and initially it is null and uh, then we are using class dot for name where we are passing uh the driver name here now the second case is create connection here is connection we are creating connection from driver manager dot connections and we are passing url and user uh, name and password here my db is database my db user is username of database my password is password of database third one is create a statement to create a statement we use create a statement method of connection object here is the syntax a statement and a statement is variable so a statement is equal to connection dot create a statement connect c o n n n is variable of connection calling the create a statement method after create a statement we execute the query here is the syntax we are creating a variable of result set and after that we are uh, calling execute query of statement interface so it will return all the data to the result set and here we using a, a code as int and a string title because uh, we are uh, displaying uh, code and title in the uh, uh, screen in the screen on the screen so here we are iterating the result set by using while while loop now after writing data to console you must close result set statement and connections so below are the syntax like like result set dot close statement dot close and connection dot close and we are also using catch exception handling here if there is any exception we will print exception there also and we are also using finally block and where where we are uh, closing the connection so learner learning outcomes of this uh, session learning outcome of this lecture is to understand the what is jsp i am sure you know about what is jsp now and what is jdbc and why we use jdbc and how we connect 
Java Server page with database. And you also understand the basic steps to connect database with JDBC. So learn, learn in next lecture, you will learn about MySQL, how to install MySQL, step to run GSP using Tomcat server. Thank you.